Hi everyone, in today's video I will show you how I clean and maintain my one gallon reef aquarium. And I'm also going to show you some new creatures I got for it too. Everything in this aquarium has been doing pretty well. The macroalgae has grown quite a bit. I've seen a lot of the animals out and active, and the pulsing xenia coral has even grown a little. The first thing I usually do during cleaning is use a paintbrush to blow some debris off the glass. That way it's floating around in the water when I replace most of the water later. I also trimmed off several large pieces of the macroalgae as it was growing a lot. This stuff grows incredibly fast once it's established. In fact, when I first made my saltwater jar ecosphere, once the macroalgae was established, I would literally see noticeable growth between morning and night of the same day. I then tried to plant the pieces in the back of the aquarium, but I decided it would be easier once I drain out the water. To do that, I used this small airline tube, meant for use with an aquarium air pump. In case you're wondering where to find something like this, you could just use a simple vinyl tube from a hardware store. I got a 9 foot piece of this tubing from Walmart for less than $3. I also tipped the aquarium forward and shook it a little bit to loosen debris and bring it towards the front. I then thoroughly scrubbed off the glass near the top of the aquarium. Now that the sand isn't submerged in water, I planted the macroalgae in the back of the aquarium. Doing this, along with planting freshwater aquatic plants, is often much easier to do when the sand isn't submerged in water, just wet. I also poured a little bit more sand into the cave of the rock structure. I then poured in a little bit of clean salt water for some new inhabitants I'm about to add. Those new animals will be saltwater amphipods, also called scuds. I poured them along with some gravel that they came with in the back of the aquarium where you can't see it very well since the gravel does not match the look of the sand currently in the aquarium. I then filled the aquarium back up with clean salt water. This next and last animal I'm going to add is a type of coral called green star polyps. To glue it to the rock in the aquarium, I of course had to drain the water out of the aquarium once again. I then used some cyanoacrylate superglue gel to glue the piece of coral to the rock. Once cured, this type of glue is perfectly safe for use with animals. And cyanoacrylate is actually biodegradable. When I siphoned the water out just a little bit ago, I actually siphoned it into a plastic bag so I could simply reuse it. That water did not need to be replaced since it was pretty much clean water I just added. Just to make things clear with what I did, the first time I siphoned the water out of the aquarium, I threw that old water outside because it had lots of debris and liquid waste in it. Then when I filled it back up, I siphoned it out a second time, but it was clean water so I kept it. Then once I was done gluing the coral to the rock, I poured the water back in. Here's a good look at a bunch of the animals that live in the aquarium, including the two types of coral, the crab, the snail, all the starfish, and a cute little amphipod that thinks I can't see him. By the next day, my new green star polyp coral has opened up quite nicely. And of course, the pink pulsing xenia is already moving. Now that the older coral is established quite well, it usually opens up and starts moving just after it's underwater again. The green star polyp coral isn't one that moves on its own very much, but I still think it's very beautiful and interesting. 
I've actually been keeping that coral in this aquarium for almost two weeks now with pretty much no flow, and it's been doing great so far. It's even growing a few new polyps already. We'll just have to see how everything keeps going with time. Anyways, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more. Turn on notifications so you don't miss when I upload a new video. Leave a comment if you have any comments, ideas, or questions for me, and I'll see you in the next one.